Oscar Isaac and Jessica Chastain's viral exchange at the Venice Film Festival had everyone, and I mean everybody, sweating. I'm still hot thinking about it. Well, Oscar had a little explaining to do, and he did it without Lauren Zima. Caressing, longing looks, and a kiss in the armpit? Look, if there's an armpit right next to me, and it's, you, know, I just, you know, what else are you supposed to do? I don't know. Jessica and Oscar's steamy red carpet chemistry had the internet spiraling, some wondering if they are a couple. Well, these two are married, just not to each other. That's Oscar's wife of four years, director Elvira Lind, just five feet away. And Jessica is married to Italian fashion executive Gianluca Passi de Prepozzolo. So why all the PDA? Well, the two are promoting a new series. And as Oscar and his Dune co-star Rebecca Ferguson told us... He okay. is a little bit of an armpit man, I have to say. That's why I'm crossing my... my well, arm. how did her armpit smell? Mine. Like, or hers? <laughs> hers. Like roses. Really? Like roses. <laughs> Jessica responded with this Adam's family pic of Gomez kissing Morticia's arm. Oscar actually voiced Gomez in the animated remake of the show. Foxley! Oscar and Jessica have actually been friends since they first met at Juilliard. Now they're playing a married couple again. The first time was in 2014's A Most Violent Year. Their new project is Scenes from a Marriage, premiering Sunday on HBO, and they needed that chemistry to get through some tough scenes. You've been an amazing partner, but you know, you couldn't I like, couldn't, I couldn't no, be where you, you were. I could couldn't be not. Anywhere. It's really about two people that I think desperately, madly love each other and are fighting through all the constraints that they've put upon themselves. At the end of the day, what do you do to like leave that heaviness there? You don't, that's the sad thing. Well, while not much could rival this red carpet moment, let me give you one word, Zendaya. What was the inspiration for the look that shook the world? <laughs> uh, the inspiration was Dune. I had seen the bodice come down the runway, I think in 2019, which was like right after we shot the movie. So my head was already thinking to the premiere when we, when we shot it. I had molding and castings made of my body and then they created this uh, gorgeous piece of art. Zendaya topped her wet look in Balmain leather with this aubergine bolero and mermaid knitted Alaya skirt in Paris. Zendaya's been doing this for years and crushing it. Let me yeah. tell you. Invented the leg cross. So you invented your own red carpet pose. Well, thank, well, thank you. We love Zendaya's bond with her Dune co-star, Timothy Chalamet. But what about this guy? Zendaya, I gotta give you a belated happy birthday. Very sweet post from Tom. What was it like to see the post? And uh, I noticed you commented, calling now. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, I, I am, um, yeah, I was, it was sweet, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I felt incredibly loved and, and grateful for, for all of that. So, you know, I have no complaints. And audiences have no complaints about Dune, the epic sci-fi adventure out next month. Co-stars Jason Momoa, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, and Rebecca Ferguson. It got an eight minute standing O during the premiere. The reactions have been so monumental. But the Venice Film Festival is still all about the fashion. Like Kate Hudson draped in Valentino couture while happily playing with this dog, Benny. His owner is Kate's director from her new movie, Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon. And skin was in. From a barely there black halter Kate arrived in, to Demi Moore showing abs, to Cynthia Erivo in a yellow tank and purple feathered skirt. 